Hi, my name is Tia Miranda. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. Today's case is about the murder of Derek Robbie. This case starts out with another 13-year-old little boy from Steuben County, New York, named Eric Smith, born January 22, 1980. He was said to not have many friends and was often bullied because his ears stuck out, he wore thick glasses, had red hair, and freckles. On August 22, 1993, Eric rode his bike to a day camp where he was asked to leave due to bad behavior. On Eric's way back home, he noticed four-year-old Derek Robbie walking to the same camp. Eric lured Derek into the nearby woods where he strangled Derek, dropped a large rock onto his head, and sodomized him with a stick. Eric then took Kool-Aid he found in Derek's lunchbox and poured it into Derek's open wounds. When Doreen, Derek Robbie's mother, arrived at the day camp at 11 a.m., she discovered he had never shown up. Derek's body was found after four hours of investigation. His cause of death was determined to be blunt force trauma to the head with contributing asphyxia. Since the killer was so young, this case made national headlines. Eric confided to his mother that he had committed the crime on August 8, 1993, and later that night, the Smith family informed the police. Specialists examined Eric's brain function and hormone levels, but found nothing to explain his violent behavior. A defense psychiatrist diagnosed Eric with intermittent explosive disorder. However, the prosecution's expert stated that it was rare for a 13-year-old to have this particular disorder. Eric Smith was convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to the maximum term then available for juvenile murders, which was a minimum of nine years to life on August 16, 1994. Eric read out an apology letter to Derek Robbie's family on TV while in jail and also apologized to Derek in interviews. The apology letter read, I know my actions have caused a terrible loss in the Robbie family, and for that, I am truly sorry. I've tried to think as much as possible about what Derek will never experience, his 16th birthday, Christmas, anytime, owning his own house, graduating, going to college, getting married, his first child. If I could go back in time, I would switch places with Derek and endure all the pain I've caused him. If it meant that he would go on living, I'd switch places, but I can't. Eric stated at the end of his apology that he couldn't bear the thought of walls, razor wire, and steel metal bars for the rest of his life. Eric was transferred several times to different maximum and medium security prisons after serving three years in a juvenile facility. Eric Smith was denied parole 10 times from 2002 to 2020. After a delayed release on November 17, 2021, he was after 27 years of incarceration released on February 1, 2022. Let me know in the comments what you think about this case, and thank you so much for listening to my video. Please revisit my channel for more true crime content.